Our lives are affected by the 3D world in which we live, but in fact, we allow the 3D world to affect our lives. So how should you deal with the 3D world? How should you react to the 3D world so that your 4D world isn't affected? Let's talk about this in this video, but before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can watch more videos on the Law of Assumption, Manifestation, and Neville Goddard's teachings. Well, let's start with William Blake's quote that Neville Goddard quoted in one of his teachings. In your own bosom you bear your heaven and earth, and all you behold, though it appears without, it is within, in your imagination, of which this world of mortality is but a shadow. Now you can see this is exactly the same as what Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption says. Neville Goddard, after quoting these lines, wrote in his biography that William Blake had understood the theory of the Law of Assumption. The 3D world exists because of our consciousness and how it appears to us depends upon our imagination and thoughts. Everything that we see, how does it appear to us? It all depends on our imagination. How do we imagine them? From which perspective do we see them? The 3D world we live in has got no shape, no appearance, and no form. Our imagination determines the appearance of the things that we see. You see, some things might look beautiful to you, but to others, they will be the ugliest. So why do such differences exist? It's because everyone has a different way of looking at things. Everyone has their way of imagining things. So that's the reason the same thing may appear different to different people. Different people may have different views about the same thing. Now William Blake or Neville Goddard aren't the only people who discovered the Law of Assumption, many other people have. Most people think that Neville Goddard proposed the Law of Assumption, but the truth is that Neville Goddard actually discovered the Law of Assumption. He discovered how the universe we live in operates and works. Neville Goddard never said that he proposed the Law of Assumption, but he explained the mechanism of the working of the universe. You know, Abdullah was the one who taught Neville Goddard many things. Abdullah was bolder than Neville Goddard about the 3D world. According to him, the imagination or the 4D world was more important than the 3D world. And once, Neville Goddard asked Abdullah how come he could eat and drink the way he was without it affecting him in a bad way. Abdullah replied to him, you couldn't do that because you have quibbles. So in fact, what Abdullah said was so meaningful. Neville Goddard had some limiting beliefs about some foods and drinks, while Abdullah had not. When Neville Goddard told this story to his students, Abdullah was not around him, but he told the truth about him by himself, because he wanted to explain to his students the importance of thinking. If thoughts are positive, then you will experience positive things in your life, and if thoughts are negative, you will experience negative things in your life. The extent to which 3D and all of its asserted norms will affect you will depend on how much you trust them. If you truly want to manifest your desires, you have to work on your thoughts, and they want you to think about the things you want to manifest in your life. And when you get to learn about the teachings of Neville Goddard, you have to forget about everything you have known prior. And the faster you do this, the more your desire will manifest. This 3D world we live in, which according to Neville Goddard is a shadow world, as referred to by William Blake, is really not as we think about it. We have been brainwashed to think in a particular direction about this world. It is not as real as you think it is. It is not as hard as concrete as you think it is. The world of a universe is not the source of anything. It is not the cause of anything. But the world itself has been created by man's imagination. The things that are now present in the world were first created in someone's mind, so they are a creation of human imagination. It has no value by itself. It has no power of its own. It's just a reflection of our thoughts. The 3D world is a mirror in which you can see yourself. You should not be upset with 3D reality because it is your reality. It is your reflection. If you want to change what you are seeing, you have to change your own thoughts. Don't change the mirror, try to change what is in front of the mirror. Don't get mad at your experiences, try to change your thoughts so that you can experience good things. Neville Goddard, in one of his lectures, said that you shouldn't react to the 3D world. When you really get why he said that, you will be left with no reason to react to the 3D world as if it were something outside of you or something that you can't help. Your life until now has been a result of your beliefs, and now if you have become able to change your beliefs, you are able to manifest the change in the 3D world. Your life is a result of your assumptions, beliefs, and thoughts. Whether you are conscious of your assumptions or not, they manifest your reality even if you don't like them. You know, in our society, some people are successful and high achievers while others are low achievers. It's not because of their talents or capabilities. Basically, it is because of what they think about themselves and about the world. It's because of their assumptions. 
Life makes no mistakes. It always gives a man what he first gave himself. You see, different people will succeed in different areas of their lives, and it is because they have different assumptions in different areas of their lives. Many people in the manifesting community claim that they can manifest their desires pretty fast, but they can't manifest their specific person. It's really looking strange that some people can manifest something in their lives so easily and quickly, but they can't manifest certain things in their lives. It is just because they don't assume strongly about those things and so they don't manifest those things. Let's say you have manifested everything in your life that you wanted to manifest, but you couldn't manifest your specific person. Now it means you had some positive assumptions about all the things you have manifested. On the other hand, you had some doubts about your special someone. Perhaps you were concerned that you would not be able to manifest that person in your life, and so that's why you couldn't manifest him. So it's all a game of assumptions. That's it. Just change your assumptions about different things and things will start changing in your life because it's the 3D world that holds assumptions in place, but it's you who controls your assumptions. So take control of your assumptions. You are the operant power. So if you can control your thoughts, you can do whatever you wish to do. You can be who you want to be. The world is an illusion and you have the option to choose who you want to be and what you want to do. What you assume about the 3D world right now is affecting your life. Let's say you say, I have a hard time and you also believe that you are everyone pushed out, then your statement is going to play out in the 3D world you live in. The reason why Abdullah was able to eat and drink like there was no tomorrow and Neville couldn't be because Neville's beliefs about food and drinks were more limited than Abdullah's beliefs about food and drinks. And so that's how your behavior determines the behavior of others. Your imagination determines the world. Your imagination determines what is happening in the world and how it appears to you. You can change the thoughts of other people with your imagination and your behavior because you are the operant power. Now you see people respond to what you say, depending on what you say and how you speak. So here you decide how they would talk to you and what would happen next. This is how you become powerful. You can influence the thoughts of other people through your behavior. So if you expect good behavior from others, you will need to behave well. And let's say someone believes he can't change the behavior of others with his imagination. In that case, he will not observe the change in the behavior of others because, as you know, manifestation depends upon assumptions. If your assumptions are good, you will manifest something good. It means you have to first work on yourself. You first have to change yourself. You have to change your thoughts and way of thinking and things will become easier for you. You are God in your reality and consciously or unconsciously, you choose your limits and you decide what is possible for you. And, as Neville Goddard stated, your subconscious mind is completely impartial. What is the story you have constructed for yourself? What is your financial story? What is the story of your relationships? How has your health been? Until you adjust the story you've told yourself about each aspect of your life, it will continue to play out in your 3D world. Remember that the story is only the way it is because you have kept it that way in your imagination. You are the one who gave the story its meaning. It doesn't have one on its own. If you take away the meaning you've given, the story will either end or change. The biggest mistake that people make, even in the manifesting community, is that they think the 3D world or the physical world and the 4D world or imagination are both the same. There are people who value the 3D world more and don't believe that their imagination is affecting their 3D world. This is a completely wrong belief. You have to believe that real life is the life of the imagination. Your imagination, your perception, and your consciousness are more important than the physical world. Your imagination is more real than your 3D reality. Let's understand this with a true example. Do you know about a disease named PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder? PTSD is defined as intensely disturbing thoughts and feelings related to an experience that lasts long after that traumatic event has ended. As PTSD is related to thoughts, it can be referred to as the 4D disease. If the 4D world isn't real, then why do diseases exist in it? That's a question you must ask yourself if you have any doubts about the power of imagination and your thoughts. And when you know the power of your thoughts, nothing will be able to keep you from manifesting what you want to manifest. So guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please do like it and comment below. For more interesting videos, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. See you in the next video.